Welcome back to another edition of Bourbon Kingdom. I'm David. And I'm Zach. And today we are bourbon battling it up. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're trying to figure out if we can figure out Jack. Yeah, we don't know Jack. Actually, we do know Jack. We love Jack. Yeah, I think it's also trademarked by the podcast, so I don't think we're allowed to say that. Yeah. Probably. Mm. But we are big fans of Jack. Yeah, we are big fans of Jack. And, well, I say we're big fans of Jack. Actually, I think during our last bourbon battle where we did, or not last, but one of them that we did with Jack Daniels first Jim Beam. Did you pick Jack Daniels and I picked Jim Beam? I think so. So technically, we had that bottle. We had this bottle in here that I didn't like, but you liked. Yeah. Last year, we were not fans of this. Uh, we weren't fans of it because of what you had to do to try to get this bottle. I mean, you got you got it at retail, but... Yeah, it I was, got it at retail. It was really hard. No, well, no, there's a certain characteristic we didn't like about it. Yeah, that is true. I can't remember, but... Yeah. Actually, I think I do remember. And we just reviewed these, and we love these. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So... So, let's see how they go. So, 50-50. Yeah. So, uh, we'll figure out definitively which ones we like. I'm also curious to see where the quote-unquote allocation holds up against the non-allocation um me too and i haven't we i, I don't well it's always kind of iffy when he's tried some of my stuff because sometimes he just drinks stuff i'm like why are you drinking that he's like eh, it's here so true but i haven't had that and since i don't think i've had i don't think i've had it since we reviewed it maybe late summer early fall yeah so we'll see if it's changed yeah we'll see so Anyways, All right. uh, just to remind everybody, we're going from one, two, three, four. We'll take a break and then go backwards, four, three, two, one. And they're in no particular order that we know of. Yeah, we don't know what it is, but we will you'll see a picture of what it is as we're drinking it. So you have an idea. We hope. We always hope. He does all the editing. So yeah. if you're still here, it, go ahead and leave in the comments below if he didn't do a good enough job editing. because well, Always let me know. I love it. It's my favorite thing. Yeah. It's my favorite thing in the also world. Also hit like and subscribe right there. Yeah, so, for sure. Number one. All right, number one. Number. All right. Man, that is a banana if I've ever yep, seen one. Yep, that is a definitely a banana. All right. Hmm. All right. Nice banana. You definitely get the banana on that. Marshmallow. For sure. get a little spice there. Yeah. Nice. You know, yep. the nice thing is, obviously, they're all Jack Daniels, <clears throat> so they all have the same quote-unquote profile. They're all around the same proof. That is true. They you are. Know, yeah. Realistically. I mean, this one's going to be a little off wherever that's at. But, I mean, these three, I mean, they're all within... Yeah, you know, that one's within three proofs of yeah. one of them, because I think it's like 97.4. No, yeah. 97. 97. What's this? 80. 80. So that's low, low booger. All right. Banana, marshmallow, and a little, little, little bit spice. Of, of Well, there is some spice on there. I was also going to say a little bit of ethanol on the nose. Yes. All right. This one, I mean, you really got to gotta get down in there and search for it. I smell nothing. Yeah, that's what I, that's that's why I said you got to get down in there, and you still it's uh it's hard to hard to get in there. All right, there is peanuts on the nose. Oh, hundred percent peanuts on the palate. <laughs> yep, peanuts. Like I went to Texas Roadhouse. Feel like I know what that is. That's, I mean, you could just pound that all day long. Oh yeah, that's so crushable. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's just. I mean, if it's, if, I'll tell you this right now. If it's anything but the eighty proofer, we're in trouble. That is so true. <clears throat> all right, number three. Uh, feel like this has got a nuttiness on the on the nose. Man, you know what's crazy about this? This smells just like a Heaven Hill product. Again. A little bit perfumey. Uh, I, now that you say that, yeah, I can get it. But I feel like the, the nuttiness of it is 
a little kind of overwhelming. Smidge of chocolate. I'll be honest. Uh, those, these two, taste similar in the nuttiness of them. Just one feels like a higher proof nuttiness than the than the next one. Hmm. I, there is some spice on the back end of that. A little bit. Yeah. It's not as rich as the the first one. Mm mm. Hundred percent not. All right. Are you moved to the fourth one yet? Are you still? Mm -hmm. All right. I'm wait. Oh, you can go ahead. <clears throat> I'm trying to give you the full process where I can evaluate. That one's got a sweetness to it. Hmm. I don't know about that one. Hmm. Yeah, that one's like a cookie smell to it. Huh. Man, it, you said cookie, and I was like, what does that smell? And right whenever you said that, I could smell it. <laughs> you smell it too? Like, well, I don't think I was smelling it. Now you said cookie, now I can't get it out of my mind. <laughs> You want me to tell you what I think it really smells like? All right, what does it smell like? A zebra cake. A little Debbie zebra cake. Oh, and oh my I, gosh, he's right. And gosh, I love, it. and I love gosh, a zebra it. cake. <laughs> I, my inner fat kids sit up and they're like, no, it's, it's not a so zebra true. cake. And, oh. I, and I smell it I'm like, gosh, No, that's a zebra cake. Thank you, Jack Daniels, for giving us a zebra cake in liquid form. That would be a heck of a market. Ooh, yeah. yeah. That little zebra it on, walking it, out. It honestly <laughs> does smell like a cookie. Half drunk. <laughs> like, oh. Uh, zebra. Uh, it smells just like, like it's a fresh batch of like chocolate chip cookies, but there's like a little like walnut in there, like just a crumble like here and there of it. And what kind of fool are you if you don't love a little walnut? And Oh, that's so good. All right. Man, that spice and that oak pops on that one. That I was going to say the oak really on the palate gets me. And again, this one has a, a little drying at the end of it. Yeah. What's crazy is, like, as I'm sitting, man, that is. Hmm. Palate still. All right, we're the gonna... palate is shorter on that one, though. Yeah, I, yeah, I think you're right. There's not as much going on there. All right, we're gonna take a little bit of a break, and we're back. All right, now we're starting from four, working our way down to one. Oh, this one's totally changed. I don't get the sweetness on you this. Don't get a zebra cake either, do you? No, I don't. I'm so sad about that. I get juicy fruit on this one now. I get a lot more oak on this one than these other three and the oak still really kind of pops I, I agree I think the oak is is so much prevalent in there yes that's interesting it's sweet but yet oaky all at the same time mm -hmm. and there is much more spice on that one as well <clears throat> All right, that nuttiness is still there on this one. I'm getting absolutely nothing on this nose. Still nothing. No, I still oh, get the. Here it is. I still get the nuttiness of it. Still, it's like a bag that's full of perfume. A bag full of perfume. Just old perfume bottles that are just like mixed together. Yeah. Nice. Grandma's perfume too. Probably not even the good stuff. No, it's not the good stuff. Not the good stuff at all. So that one follows a lot like the, the first one we just did, or the fourth one we just did, where there's some spice on the back end of that. Which is interesting. It's also, I don't know if it's just because how much I've been drinking, but I feel like it was also drying. Hmm. I'm stumped. Legitimately stumped. I only get peanut taste out of that. There is there is peanuts to that. 
There is, honestly, there is Heaven Hill funk to that. Like, whenever you do drink that, there is Heaven Hill funk. And I'm not saying that's bad or good or whatever. It's just like, that's like, that to me drinks like a Heaven Hill program. <clears throat> and I say that just because, you know, if you're somebody who likes Heaven Hill, whichever one that is, you might love it. This I'm getting a bubblegum smell. I still only taste peanut butter out of this. Like, legitimately, like I just took a spoon and dipped into some Jif peanut butter and I'm just... I'm getting like a bubblegum banana. It's actually not bad. Good on you. That thing is... In, yeah, I, that thing, I feel like I could just... Yeah, both of these, crush. to me, just, just scream... Peanuts, 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 peanuts. <laughs> and I wish I, I wish I could taste something else in it, but I just it doesn't feel like anything else is there. All right, the last one. Mm -hmm. Ooh, get a little, again that feel like the bananas there. I get some maple on it this time. Yeah, I think that one's just really good. It's almost like a like a peanut butter and marshmallow sandwich. Now, see, this one hits peanut butter in there this time. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, hmm. that's really good. I feel like the spice on the back end of this one is very appealing. Because I feel like it helps me, it, it helps it stay with you a little longer. See, I didn't get a ton of spice on the back end of that one. That one I think is really, really good, though. These other three I kind of feel like are the exact same. So, it's not that I think... It's not... Okay. These two are last for me. But I'm sitting here thinking which one I would prefer to drink. This one has more going on. This one doesn't have anything going on. I think I still prefer it more. I, you see mine where I, I have not placed these yet because I still am torn. Okay. I think I'm good. I think that's where I'm at. All good? I think that's where I'm at. All right. So you want to go from, from worst to first? Which one do you worse. think? Well, which one? Which one are you guessing is worse? What do you mean worse? Like, which one of these do you think did the worst in the blind? <laughs> I think the allocated one. I think it's either that one or the triple dash. I, and then I think this one's third. I think that one won. I, I think you. I, I think this one won. Yeah. I do too. All right. So, okay. So our worst one is you and I here. both agreed on this too. I, I, worst yeah, one. yeah. No, we have the exact same order. So the worst one is the tenure, which is yes, the allocated one. <laughs> the allocated which one kind of stands with what we thought last year. Like, even though I will say, I, one of the complaints we had last year about this was the finish. There was like no finish to yeah. it. And now it still has a little bit of finish, but it does. But it's there's a perfume note on there. I don't like it. It's just too much peanut for me too. Yeah. And then uh, our third would be number two, which is the old number seven. Okay, so I thought that kind of makes sense. I thought these two were similar in their palette. Just one had more proof than the other one, and yeah, the more proof. Made it seem worse to yeah, me than, no, I agree. than than that. So and then our fourth, which was second, was the triple mash. So actually, I did better than I thought. Yeah. And then number one was the bonded. The bonded. So yeah, that's what we kind of thought. Yep. Yeah. But yeah, that one just which is funny because I actually per, I preferred the triple mash mm -hmm. in the review. Yeah. So just goes to show you when you kind of go through it with. Uh, you know, two. You, in this case, there were three other, the three other whiskeys with it. It yeah. just kind of changes, kind of changes it up a little bit. Now, maybe on its own, I might choose that one. Sure, but sure. In a lineup of four, this one seemed to take the cake. 
Yeah, it had, I, it, it had a complexity to it that I liked. I think it also has stronger notes. Yes, stronger. Like yeah. out of all of them, I think it had the strongest notes. Even though they're all, except for this one, these three are around the same proof. These notes here really did stand out. Yeah. compared to yeah, the other ones. If I'm being honest with you, so yeah, no, so cool. So awesome. again, go get it. Go get it. Don't worry about it. Just make sure you have that. Uh, yeah, as always. Yeah, and. Yeah, you'll be set. Yeah. So, you know, everybody always complains about chasing allocation. Don't worry about chasing allocation. Yeah, these are so, not allocated. Yeah. Perfect. All right. Well, till the next time, we'll see you. We'll see you.